good afternoon everyone from Jan and Maria in Mindanao. We had a sunny break just a while ago. So I thought I would uh, get my uh, camera and take a quick video. And as soon as I got out, of course, it's uh, showering. But anyway, I have this really big leaf here. That's covering me somehow. So uh, I would try to do it anyways. Um, in today's video, I would like to make uh, an update on our near current plan uh, here. Uh, Jen and I have been living in the Philippines since uh, July of 2019 with the intention of course of coming back here and living here permanently. We don't regret our decision of coming home because it was our dream and we made it come true and we're happy we did. But uh, after living here for a couple of years, we are doing some adjustment on our life situation. And one of the reason being is that John is not 100% uh, happy living here. Uh, he gets bored and I can't blame him. We are on the edge of town and uh, it can get lonely sometimes and I understand that. And as for me, of course, this is my um, country of preference because my parents live here and uh, I love gardening a lot, so it occupies my time. But of course, uh, marriage is a uh, compromise, and of course, uh, he had he had to compromise as well. We have come to an agreement that uh, we would both uh, benefit from it, and that is uh, to divide our time. He would get uh, a break from here and uh, recharge and hopefully we'll have more uh, stamina and uh, feeling of wonder again when we come back here to live for another six months. Around this time uh, it's winter in Canada now so we are waiting until spring come. Uh, we don't like to go back in a very cold weather or snow at that so we will wait until probably late March, early April now to go back home. Oh, there's a fly in my face. And um, one of the reasons too that we're going back is because of our uh, health insurance. Of course, uh, if we live more than six months uh, here, we would lose our uh, health benefits in Canada. And that is one thing that we don't like to do because we are old now and we're getting even older. And uh, we, although we are healthy now, we don't really know uh, what might happen tomorrow. So it's always good to have that caution. So one advice that I can give to people that are planning to come back here, uh, expats with uh, Filipino wives is to actually try out living here first. Don't sell your house uh, right away before coming here because uh, you don't really know if uh, you love living here not until you try it. And uh, if you sell your house there uh, and spend all your money here, then it would be hard to go back or you have uh, no way of uh, going back and that would be a disaster. Uh, luckily, Jan and I have an apartment in Canada so we have a place to go back to and we are actually very happy that uh, we didn't sell that too. Otherwise, uh, we would have to uh, start from scratch again. So that, those are uh, the few reasons, uh, guys, why we're going back. And thank you very much for uh, coming by and watching today. 
And before I end this video, I would like to make a shout out to uh, Aussie farming in the Philippines. Uh, thank you very much for sharing our last video. And uh, to those subscribers of ours that love farming, uh, Aussie farming in the Philippines is a sure much uh, is a sure must watch uh, channel. He has a lot of uh, animals on his farm and he does show how he raised them and stuff so uh, you would learn a lot from it and also at the same time uh, his videos are very entertaining so we'll, you will be learning and uh, get entertained at the same time uh, see you next time and uh, take care everyone thank you very much